Good afternoon. You're now watching the latest news for December 19. Sarawak United People's Party President Dato Dr. Sim Kui Hian stated SUPP will be in the forefront of Sarawak's fight to restore the fundamental rights of Sarawakians without any compromise and fear. He, who is also Minister of Local Government and Housing, said the restoration of equal status for Sarawak and Sabah and Malaya must be set in concrete actions relating to oil, gas and natural resources revenue, territorial waters and other relevant issues. He added that any discussions should be based on the Intergovernmental Committee model in 1962 and not under the current Special Cabinet Committee as neither the Sabah nor the Sarawak government is under the federal government as stated in Malaysia Agreement 1963 or MA63. He said this in response to the Federal Cabinet Special Committee on the review of MA63 holding its inaugural meeting at Putrajaya. AMNO President Datuk Sri Ahmad Zahid Hamidi announced that his deputy Datuk Sri Muhammad Hassan will be taking the reins as party president following the crisis that the party encountered. In a statement, he expressed hope that all disagreements on the leadership of the party will stop and he asked leaders at a grassroots level to focus on efforts to strengthen AMNO. He also called for an end to the crossovers by AMNO MPs and assemblymen after his deputy takes control of the party. He further said that the grassroots were expecting AMNO leaders to unite under the party's new slogan, AMNO Rises Again. He said this in light of the many AMNO elected representatives from Sabah and Peninsula who left the party and voiced support for the Pakatan Harapan government. The United States has pledged billions of dollars towards developing Central America and Mexico in order to strengthen the region's economies and tackle illegal migration. Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador has sought to persuade U.S. President Donald Trump to work with Mexico to develop Honduras, El Salvador and Guatemala, as well as Mexico's impoverished South, to curtail the flow of people. Mexican Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard said Washington is committing $5.8 billion to development in Central America and increasing public and private investment in Mexico via Overseas Private Investment Corporation OPIC by $4.8 billion. He added that of the OPIC amount, $2 billion would go to southern Mexico and the Mexican government has pledged to find $25 billion to develop the South over the next five years. A statement by the U.S. State Department, the U.S. and Mexico would organize a business conference in early 2019 to discuss investment opportunities. That's all the news for now. I'm Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.